William Figueroa Crucifixion Resurrection is a painting of both mystical and abstract art theoretical importance. The painting is so powerful and monumental that it envelops the viewer in an all-encompassing state of exuberance and wonder. As professed by the title, Crucifixion Resurrection is a majestic painting resonating with deep color. The color composition is of such a chroma value that one gets a sense of a profound stillness. The work echoes the ancient past as well as the contemporary modern abstract theoretical discourse. Expanding the suprematist and purest synthetic spirituality manifestos on both notions of the objective and versus non-objective of which his work intercepts both. The work dismisses the difference and fills the gap, proving his lifelong view that the non-objective is an objective. Therefore, polytechnic and gesture monumental accomplishments aside, Figueroa's crucifixion resurrection is simply a manifestation of the sublime in the art of painting. In this image, the painting is superimposed with the Shroud of Torin. The correlating line alignments are almost identical with a slight variation due to the difference in the angles in which the head is oriented. Since its conception, the painting has been exceedingly controversial due to its historical, theoretical, abstract art breakthrough. So much so that very few art galleries and museums, if any, are willing to exhibit the work. The few that have were never made aware of its significance. The painting was part of a solo artist retrospect exhibition at the Vero Beach Library Art Gallery in 1999, where the artist's work was used to replace the existing artwork throughout the entire building. In 2001, it was part of an art exhibit at the Vermont College School of Fine Arts. More significant, however, is where its home was for over seven years. It was displayed within a praying nook in a non-denominational Christian church startup called Salty. The work is the epitome of Figueroa's career as a painter. He has never since tried to duplicate the same results. You see, the painting is not his alone, but rather a collaboration. A collaboration between a disciple and the ultimate master artist, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know this may sound to be an unbelievable claim, however, it is the truth and the painting is there as proof. Jesus manifests himself in the painting at least four times, with the main image appearing in the center as if posing for a traditional self-portrait. <laughs>